All right, let's develop a net cash flow table together. On the right side, you can see the, the information given from the previous slide. And we'll develop the net cash flow table based on these information. And I have pre-prepared this table for us. Before we start, you might want to change the format here to accounting where you press this button to change the format to accounting number All right so year zero we know we need to pay equipment labor and materials to rebuild which is gonna be 18,000 at year one till year eight we need to pay 32,000 and 2,400 from year 1 to year 4 and at the end of year 8 we have to consider the estimated market value we add 2,000 for alternative B which is we need to pay 60,000 And from year 1 to year 8, we need to pay electricity and annual expenses, which is 9,000 9, minus 16,000. From year 1 to year 8. And for year 4, we have to consider the major replacement. So we just add. 9,400 and for year 8 we don't need to consider this major replacement at the end of year 8 since there's no need and we just add 8,000 to consider the estimated market value to calculate the difference we can Click C cell C3 minus cell B3 and enter. And we can also drag to calculate the rest of the years. And to calculate the sum of all the alternatives, we can type sum and include all the numbers or we can just click here the auto sum which will help you to calculate the total sum automatically to calculate the cumulative uh, differences we can type sum Uh, D dollar three to just normal D three by doing that uh, this cell won't change and when you when we drag this we'll be able to see that it will <coughs> change on, on only on the right side to calculate the cumulative differences.